Hello and welcome to the University of Southampton Team Southampton Talk. Uh, my name is James Topping, I'm the Assistant Head of Sport at the University of Southampton and I'm going to be giving you uh, some more information today about what sport is like at Southampton. I hope today we should be able to answer most of your questions but if we don't there will be the ability to ask us more information either by email or on social media or uh, on the open day itself there's a chat room where you can have a chat with us. So any questions do save them up towards the end but we're going to be going through looking at facilities, what's on offer and what you can do to stay active at Southampton. So this is a map of the city and uh, it's specifically based around what sport facilities we have on offer. So the University of Southampton is quite spread out and we're not just in one location, we're actually spread out over around six campuses. So as a result, the sport facilities are also spread out across the city. Um, we're going to focus uh, and start with the Highfield campus, which is the sort of central hub of the University of Southampton, and just have a little bit more of an understanding of what is based on that site. So in this particular area here, around the Highfield campus, number one is uh, the Jubilee Sports Centre, which is the hub, but also you can start to see a little bit more what is around the area. So north of the Highfield campus are Glen Eyre Halls, and there's a small gym up there for people living in that area. South of the Highfield campus, you've got the Avenue campus where we've got some tennis courts. And to the east, there's the University Water Sports Centre and also Connaught Halls, actually. So everything is quite close together. And within that main area, it's really easy to access a large number of different sports. So focusing in on what's actually on the Highfield campus. So we've got a swimming pool. We've got a 25 metre six lane pool. We've got a gym uh, with around 170 stations in it. So there's a lot going on in that gym. Um, we've got a martial arts room for people in martial arts clubs, we've got a bouldering wall, there are four squash courts and there are two um, sports halls as well. So the larger sports hall is eight badminton courts in size and the smaller one is around four badminton courts in size, which we also use for five-a-side football and another number of other sports. So there's lots of different activity happening on, on campus at Highfield. There's also the opportunity for people just to go to the gym, you can join in with a class and you can also join in with a number of different sports clubs and teams. So that's what's generally what's happening on the main campus. If we now focus over to Wide Lane, so Wide Lane is the university's outdoor sports grounds. It's 80 acres of sports grounds, one of the largest in the UK, and we've got a lot going on on that, on that particular campus. So we've got a 3G pitch, we've got a sand astro, we've got eight tennis courts, uh, which turn into six netball courts as well. We've got lots of football pitches, lots of rugby pitches and cricket, as well as a large pavilion with a function space and a bar. And there's also 26 changing rooms. So there's no need to come change, actually. You can turn up, play your sport and have a shower and then go home. We've also got the Sports Performance Centre, which is a, a wide lane, where we do our strength and, strength and conditioning work with our elite athletes and TAS athletes. And we've also got the team gym where the teams are able to do focus sports. So zooming in and just having a look at the map, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of what's on offer at Wide Lane. And we've got a, a large variety of things. During uh, the year, it does change. So this is the sort of winter sport layout. And during the summer, we turn more into summer sport, which is cricket and baseball and archery. So it's a very versatile site. And as you can see from that, we've got the, uh, the bus and the train station just over the road from the sports grounds itself. So we've got a number of photos here, just to give you a bit of an idea. This is the hockey pitch, the Sand Astro at Wide Lane. As you can see, it looks fantastic on a sunny day. And just a bit more of an idea. So we've got the 3G pitch there. That's a photo from the pavilion building and an idea of the tennis courts. And uh, that's a, a picture for, uh, of us playing cricket at Wide Lane during the summer months. So it's a fantastically versatile site and hopefully something for everyone. So popping down to the south of the city now, near the Mayflower Gym or the Oceanography Centre, there are a number of different facilities you can access. So if you're in Mayflower Halls, there's a fantastic gym at that particular site. Uh, we've also got access to the Keys, which is uh, part of uh, the Active Nation facilities in Southampton. And down towards the bottom, we've got a bit more of our water sports offering. So the main water sports centre at the top of the city where rowing happens is quite near to Highfield Campus. But down near the bottom of the city, we do yachting, and we do sailing out on the water. And these are just a few of the photos. So uh, the University Yacht is based down at Town Quay. And at the bottom left-hand corner is a photo of what happens on a Wednesday afternoon. We do recreational sailing, which is for anyone. Anyone can go sailing, beginners, advanced, and we just get sessions on water. We also do windsurfing at the same time as well. So 
there are loads of things on offer. There's a picture of some power boating there and canoeing. We're also a training centre, so if you want to learn to sail, canoe, windsurf, powerboat, or do a theory course, we could qualify you with an RAA uh, qualification through the training centre. So just moving on to a little bit more of what's on offer, we have a partnership with Active Nation, and Active Nation manages a number of the facilities in Southampton that we buy access into to allow you to use them. So there's a photo of the running track uh, at uh, the Southampton Sports Centre, uh, there's a photo of the swimming pool at the Keys. So with this particular partnership, you can access three different swimming pools across the city. And there's also the additional gyms, and there's a photo of the ski slope there as well. So there's something for everyone. And just a little bit more about what we offer. So there's a large amount of classes. They're really popular. So if you don't want to just go to the gym, but you want to work out with other people, we've got loads of different classes and hopefully something for you. Zumba. That is fantastic. It's one of my favorite activities, actually. Um, but there's loads of different things you can do. And uh, we're now doing virtual classes in this new time as well. So you don't just have to work out on campus. You can also work out from home. We're also a swimming center. We do swimming lessons throughout the year for children and for adults. And if you've never learned to swim, we'd love to show you how. And that's uh, something on offer that we can give you as well, in addition to just turning up and having a swim as well. So there's so much information and I can't give it to you all now, but please do check out our website, Sport and Wellbeing, put that into Google and our website will come up. And on there is everything about the membership, about the different activities we've got on site, the war sports classes and a lot more. Also a bit more about the clubs that we're going to move on to in a bit. So let's talk a little bit about bursary. Um, oh, so we'll just finish off, sorry. Uh, fitness and well-being as well, I, I forgot this bit. So general casual users, the casual users are the main majority of our base. So we've got a lot of people that just want to use the gym. So if you don't want to join a club, don't worry. You can just join in and be part of the physically active part of what we're doing. Um, we also do a number of different things. We, we work with GP referrals. We do personal training. So if you want to work with someone, we can pair you up with a personal training uh, program. And that's a, an added paid service if you want to do that. One of the unique things that we do here at Southampton, which we don't think many other people are doing, is we do mental health exercise referrals. So working with our enabling service, we really value that exercise helps you with your mental health. And we really believe staying active will help you with your studies. So that's something we have a full time person employed to do, and they would be very keen to work with you to do that. We also have a physiotherapy clinic uh, on site. So if you want to see a physio, you can do that. And during exam times, it's really important to stay active. And we've got a number of exam stress buster classes that we do during that period. So to talk about our bursary. So this is something that we offer to a number of athletes, normally about 30 to 50 during the year. And we support them with our strength and conditioning coaches. And it's defined at three different levels. So just to give you a brief information about this, more of this is on the website, but this hopefully gives you an overview. So talent ID is our access point. So if you're doing uh, something at a regional level or national level, we'd love to engage with you. So um, this particular one gives you free membership for sport, uh, gives you access to the Sports Performance Centre at Wide Lane, and there's some bursary kit involved. We've then got the silver bursary, which is those competing at a slightly higher level. So it might be at a national level, starting at international. And again, we would love to support you by giving you free membership, there's some money towards your sporting activities. And there's also access to, again, to the gym uh, down at Wide Lane and the bursary kit. And we really want to keep an idea and uh, keep tabs on what you're doing and support you through your higher education time. And then finally, there's the gold bursary. So the gold bursary are those at the international level and those wanting to be part of the Olympics and working towards that really high level. And we really want to get involved and support you. And we always have a couple of people on this particular category every year. So there's again, more financial support towards your sport. Uh, there's free membership, there's physiotherapy access, there's strength and conditioning, again, as per the other levels, bursary kit and mentoring support. Um, we are a TAS hub as well. So we interlink our bursary with our TAS and we've got an overlap of the resources that we have on site. So we'd love to support you. So what to do next about that? Get in contact. Um, we want to, make sure that we can support you. We want to make sure that we can uh, help you through this process. So email us beforehand, tell us about you. So when we get your application, we can give you a bit more information. So keep an eye on our website. Generally, the form for application goes up on the website in July. And then from that point, uh, we would love to talk to you a bit more. So yeah, get in contact. 
So let's talk a little bit more about sports clubs and the student union and what's on offer. So the SUSU, the Southampton University Students Union, they're a brilliant organisation, they're on site and all, they're all about getting people involved, participation. And there are loads of things, there are over 300 clubs and societies to get involved with. So if you're interested in something, there's definitely something for you. This is a photo of this year's sabbatical officers. So uh, their job is to be advocates for students and they want to be talking to you, they want to help you get involved. And they're an independent organisation to the university. So if we as a university are doing something and you don't like it, well, the student union there are there to help you advocate and say, let's change something. Let's, let's update something. And that's what they're there for. So they do a lot of campaigns and awareness and they also run the different clubs and societies. So how to get more information? Well, check out their website, susu.org. And if you want to learn about sports clubs, go to the opportunities page and there's a list of the loads of the different sports clubs and there's information about all of them. So this is just an example. Uh, this takes you through to the football page. There's information about their social media price, uh, pages, the price of joining football and a little bit more information about their committee. So I highly advise going on to their pages, that's susu.org. So a little bit more about what happens. So there, yeah, uh, there are over 90 different sports clubs and quite a few of them, about 33 of them or around that, are involved in Bucks, British University College Sport. So this is the competitive side of what we do and we love to be competitive against other universities. Our region is the southeast, uh, sorry, the southwest region, which is the yellow region on that map. So it's all the way down to Cornwall, uh, getting very close to Wales and into sort of the Bristol area. And those are the kind of areas that we go to play against other universities at. So we have around 4,000 students in sports clubs. Everything is student led. So the, the societies are led, uh, the clubs are led by student committees. So if you're a fresher, a first year, the second year, you could be on a committee. So there's no reason that you can't get involved and especially in running your club. It's great experience. It's something to get in your CV, but also it's a, a community. And we'd really encourage you to get part of the sports club, make friends and have fun and play sport at university. So the student union, they invest over £200,000 every year into these sports clubs, making sport at university the cheapest time you'll ever get to play sport. So join them with a the club, they're highly subsidised and there are a few costs. So generally you would need to join sport and wellbeing, the, uh, the sport department, to play on the facilities. You'd also join your club, so you might pay a sub towards your club to then play with them and that covers training, transport and a few of the match fees as well. So more information about that is on that SUSU website. And what else? A bit more information. So Bucks Universal Membership. So Bucks, British University College Sport, joined all the universities together. So if you're a member at Southampton, you can also access the university facilities all over the country. So if you lived in Bristol, for example, you could go to the Bristol University facilities if you're a member at Southampton. That's a fantastic thing to be involved with. So hopefully that's a bit more of an overview. And if you've got more questions about that, do send us an email and also check out the sports clubs and their social media pages. Most sports clubs have a Facebook page. So Varsity, this is one of the things we love to get involved with every year. This is our Portsmouth versus Southampton competitive uh, day out and uh, it normally happens in March, April time. Around 4,000 students come together and we have a fantastic game, uh, a game or multiple games of sport throughout, a, throughout the day. Loads of different sports are represented and we also get music groups involved. We also get the sporty people, we get people coming down and it's just a fun day out. And it happens at Southampton one year and Portsmouth the next year. So it's hosted by each university biannually. Now I've got a quick video just to show you, just to give you an idea of what happens. And this was the last time we hosted in 2018.
So yeah, it's a bit of a, uh, a running joke that uh, every year Southampton win. We have had a very good streak. streak. We, I think up to date, had won nine out of 10 years. So we do pretty well and it's always good fun and Portsmouth are fantastic to play against. So get involved, that's something for everyone. So just talking a little bit about success. So we love the fact that Southampton is just about getting involved. We, that's what we want. We want people to take part, but we also love winning. And some of the things we do really well in uh, are sailing and rifle. And we've got some really great other teams, American football, hockey, football, uh, and uh, there's so many things to get involved with. And there are loads of teams that are doing really well. So if you want to get more involved, come and talk to us. We'd love to tell you a bit more about the things we do well in. And we'd love to encourage you and support you in your sport. And this is just a really nice example of some of the successes. There's sailing at the top there. Uh, there's basketball down the bottom there. And there's a photo of the Rifle Club with some of their medals from last year. So. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant to see what the students are doing. And these students are running their own clubs, so we really uh, value what they're doing. So just to say a little bit about other clubs that are there. So it's not just all about winning, it's not all about competitive stuff, but there are loads of clubs which are just uh, there to have fun, be social and get involved. So uh, being part of the surf club, the kite surf club, or the frisbee club, or corporal, there are so many different things. And they're all listed on the SUSU website. So I'd, I'd advise you go and check that out. And they're all at beginner level. So you don't need to be experienced. You don't need to be a pro. Join the club, make some new friends and learn a new sport. And that's what university is all about. Just to briefly touch upon free sport. So we're very aware that university costs money. And so we wanted to make sure that there's something free on offer for everyone. And at Avenue Campus, we have a set of tennis courts and they've also got netball posts there. They've got basketball posts. So if you just want to go down and play tennis, netball, or basketball, that's there. And uh, you can turn up. There's free equipment at the Avenue campus. And you can uh, just rock up and have a go. So don't think you have to pay to do sport. There's also free options. And this links into some other programs that we do, which is the Does You Good campaign, which is just all about doing something. We want you to be physically active. We want you to stay fit. Because it's proven if you're being physically active you do better academically so there are loads of programs to get involved with and we want to just encourage you in that so just to finish uh stay in contact uh we'd love to hear from you we'd love to talk to you and uh, yeah especially if you don't make the open day here on campus or if you don't get a chance to be here before you apply send us an email or get in contact on social media uh, there's every different platform down there. Check out what we're doing. There's loads of photos and more information. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, again, my name is James Topping. If you want to send me an email, do at sportandwellbeing at southampton.ac.uk. And we would love to tell you some more. Thanks very much.